Today we're going to talk about subscription billing within NetSuite and how you can do it even better with zone billing. I'm Owen Carlson, your ERP coach. When someone says subscription management to me, what that makes me think of is a list of subscriptions that I have with all of my customers, how much they are being charged, and the ability to send them invoices on a regular basis based on their subscription over time. Subscription management, that means the ability to modify existing subscription. If we're talking about subscription management within NetSuite, a memorized transaction is one way that you can accomplish that. You can create a sales order within NetSuite, you can add your items, and you can create a sales order for this transaction. And then once that sales order is created, you can memorize the transaction. You can recreate and recreate these transactions using a templated transaction. This does not scale very well at all. Subscription management is not a feature that you enable within NetSuite. It's a configuration of the NetSuite application that fits your business. If we talk about zone billing for a minute, zone billing allows you to have a list of subscriptions in your account. But when you're creating a subscription, you're gonna have a customer that you associate to. The subscription's gonna have a name. It's gonna have a start date when you agree to this and then how long that person is agreeing to and whether it's a business or an individual and we're talking about monthly contracts, quarterly, annual contracts or multi-year engagements. The subscription is the kind of parent record that you can use to house all of that information. Underneath a subscription, you're gonna have this concept of subscription items and those are gonna be the different things that the, we'll just call it the customer, but whether it's a business or an individual. So in this case, we have a subscription with a subscription item of third party license. And this subscription item is going for one year worth of time. This subscription, this customer has decided to get billed annually, right? And so at the subscription level, we can choose what cadence that we are billing this. And the subscription items allow you to track all of the different products that you have with your customer and whether they start or end at different times. So if we wanted to add another thing to this customer's subscription, there's a few ways that we could do that. Now, your business may dictate whether or not you want a new Zab subscription with its own subscription item, or you just wanna add a new subscription item underneath this existing subscription. You can have multiple different transactions over time associated to the same parent subscription if you choose. Certainly we have other customers that are using a Zab subscription, much like a sales order, and it's a very complex list of things that has a lot of different billing schedules. And if a customer has a second order, a second subscription is created with all the extra items. So it's not like there's one right way or wrong way to do it, but subscription management within zone billing is a lot more flexible because you can set up all of this data without having to live in the world of NetSuite transactions. You can use zone billing to help create those transactions. So when you navigate to the zone billing create transaction screen, this gives you a filtered list of all the different transactions that are available to be created. Right now we are running this through today's date. So you can see there are 678 total transactions that are possible to be made. We can actually take this one step further and create a save search for transactions that we want to have to bill today. This is a search of all subscriptions. It's just called Zab Subscriptions for Daily Billing. And then I can go to Setup, Zone Advanced Billing Setup, Automated Processes, and I can create an automated process within Zone Billing. So this could be called Create Daily Transactions. And in this case, the process that we're gonna have this automation run is the Create Transactions process. And I called it Zab Subscriptions 
for daily billing. So that was my search. And let's say I want this to run frequency of every one days. So if we take a look at this app subscription, we do see that a bunch of sales orders have already been created for charges, but I can see right here at the top that I do have $90,000 pending billing. Now, if I go to my Zab subscriptions for daily billing, and I go to this search and I edit it for the moment, and I'm gonna limit this search to only run for internal ID 50, which is this subscription we were just looking at. And when I save and run this trans this save search, this is now just gonna yield a single result. When I come back to the Zab automation that I created, it's gonna go run this search, Zab subscriptions for daily billing, and it's gonna find one transaction and it'll automatically create any of the transactions for those subscriptions that are ready to bill. So the Zab process has completed and I can come here and take a look at the results. So we have a bunch of different sales orders created. They're all for $10,000 and they're for all different dates. And these are all dates that are in the past because our automation is cleaning up through today's date. This was not me going and processing nine different sales orders or clicking create bill nine times. This was me setting up an automation from the financial standpoint, once you've got a Zab subscription created, they are meant to be edited. The renewal is the next thing that you need to consider. By simply pushing out an end date, you're going to be extending this subscription. With the different subscription items that you have, you would manage those dates individually. That is a totally valid way to manage your subscriptions with zone billing. You could also use our renewal functionality and you can set up a renewal template will allow you to take the subscriptions that you've built and manage them. You can either create a new subscription with new subscription items. We can update the existing subscription, but create new subscription items underneath it. You could update both the subscription and subscription item. No automated updates will be doing this manually. The renewal action will determine how we are going to be managing it. The renewal process can also be automated. So if we look at our automation list that we just went through, some other processes that I can create are converting renewal estimates into subscriptions and creating renewal estimates. So you create a renewal estimate off of a subscription that has a renewal template, and then you would convert a renewal estimate into a new subscription. So both of these are scheduled processes or suitelets that you can run within zone billing. And there are also processes that you can schedule for automation so that a user doesn't have to come in and do that themselves. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and visit us at zoneandco.com for more details.